Wasn't that special? All three of them calling. And it seems that she inspired them. She started to call quite loudly. Clearly looking for the rest of the pride. I'm pretty sure that that's Amber Eyes. And that the lioness that Tristan's got has got nothing to do with her. So there has been some upheaval during the night. The Styx Pride seem to be scuttling further down towards the south, I think. I'm not sure exactly where Tristan is, but given where I saw him here, I think he's probably quite a long way to the south along the Triple M break, basically between Arethusa and Juma, I think. So they've moved south. She's calling the rest of her pride, and when she started calling, they didn't react. And then the lion with her started to call, and then these two guys gave us that wonderful show. Yeah, and Tristan is quite a long way south. He's pretty much into the Styx territory there, uh, to the south, uh, along the, our southern boundary is pretty much the boundary between the Inkahumas and the Styx prides. Marvellous! That was excellent. Let's go back to this chap over here. I'm not sure what the others are doing right now. Have we got um, further confirmations of identifications? We know Tinyo's the one in front of us. We know this is Nsuku, the blondie. But the one with amber eyes does not appear to be Mfumo to me. I can't, I certainly couldn't make out the scar underneath his nose. So perchance that is Nana. In which case, our most commonly seen male. Exactly, Liz, I'm precisely what I was thinking. This would be the first time, Liz, that Mfumo hasn't been part of the trio, or certainly part of the two lions that we are seeing here. We haven't seen Nsuku and Nana up here a great deal at all in the last little while. Very nice to see them together. There's something about four males knocking around together that is just very... Well, it's inspiring, isn't it? It's awe-inspiring. And you might just be able to make out the shout of the Impala in the background. You've probably been able to hear that it's pretty windy out here. <laughs> and Luca, you can, yes, you say, can we feel the deep co sort of rumble in our bones completely? You can hear your rib cage, feel your rib cage rattling, as they call, especially when you're this close to one.